Hello all, welcome back to day 4 session on scratch programming. Today we are going to look into flying cat project. So here it works. Whenever we click the flag, the cat starts flying. You know? And uh, by clicking up arrow, down arrow, you will be able to see the cat is like moving up and down at the same time. Whenever it touches these crystals, it will collect a point and it will collect number of crystal and you can see that variable that is increasing so this is the project that we are going to do today and we'll see how to achieve this project so let us get into the project now so for that I'm going to go I'm going to the file and uh, taking a new project so here uh, instead of this particular sprite I want a flying cat sprite so let me just take a flying cat sprite okay yes I have a cat flying sprite like this I take this and as you saw we had a, a very simple backdrop that backdrop was a blue sky too and I'm taking that and uh, in this particular backdrop we require a another sprite that is nothing but our buildings so let me just go type buildings yes we got buildings and I'm taking this building and keeping it here as you are seeing so here the basic con concept is whenever we play a game a computer games especially so the character doesn't move means doesn't move forward it will always be there wherever it is but the whole background will start moving so that it will create an optical illusion for us that the character is moving and you know the buildings are staying wherever it is so that's what you saw in the previous uh, you know whenever I demoed you the pod project that's what you saw so the buildings were keep moving and you can also observe the cat was there only it was not moving at all it was not moving front and back but it was moving up and down but it was not moving front and back so this is the basic logic of game building in in any computer programs that you take or any computer games that you take you can start observing from now on if you are playing a games so if you're playing a GTA Vice City or even Need for Speed Call for Duty or sorry Call of Duty so any any particular games like this uh, you will see always the player will be staying in the center of the screen or in one of the fixed position in the screen but all your background will start moving but not that particular object or not but that particular player he will not move you can observe that from now on so that is the same logic that we are going to use for our project also so now uh, let us start uh, looking at how this particular building can move backward so whenever I click the flag right so I want to move backward backward maybe like for backward I have to put a negative number so let me just take negative 50 okay or negative 10 and I'll just make it to move uh, forever okay so whenever I click the flag and you can see the building is going back but this building is not coming that coming back to this position again so it should be like keep running right so whenever it is happening so for that what I am doing is I am going to fix the position of the building first so my building was here right so let me take that building and put it here and if I see my X and Y position it is 207 and Y position is minus 2 so here it is this go to X Y right go to X some position Y some position which is like matching this so I am taking this now and if I just run this it is always there so for that reason what I'll do I'll just take a repeat block so this block is going to help us how many times this particular building has to you know go back now you can see the project like how, now you can see the difference right how it is going back so it is very simple like I am just putting the position like whenever I click the flag it is always there in that position now inside this forever loop I am putting this repeat blocks like have to move 
10 steps back for 50 times so this is the thing that I'm doing and now I'm just inserting that over here and you can see the result how it is happening but uh, in our output the project which I showed you uh, there the buildings were keep changing right but here it is not changing the same building it is like repeating and it is not so realistic that the cat is flying in this particular case so now what I'll do is I'll just go to the buildings again so you you know the block called as next costume right so which is there in the looks so I'm going to take that next costume and put it here so uh, it, as it completes this 50 steps like 50 times it is moving backward right so when it completes this particular step it is going to change to the next costume after changing to the next costume it will again start from the new position again it will come back change the costume new position change the costume new position so this uh, loop keep happening forever so when it is happening forever this is how it will look see now you are able to observe the changes right so each time whenever the uh, building completes its uh, backward motion and reaches the end of the screen that is the left side screen so it will change the costume to new and uh, again it will come back it will change the costume come back change the costume come back so this loop will keep happening and this is how the result will be for you I hope you understood this part so now after understanding this particular logic of uh, moving screen so we will come to cat flying so in the cat flying uh, we have to just move up and down because uh, our uh, uh, one of the uh, obstacles or we can also tell that as a gem right so that gem whenever we are placing in the screen so we have to the cat has to go collect that gem so whenever each time it is collecting that gem uh, it will increase its score so for that the cat has to move up and down so let us try to do that now so when space key pressed I'm going to take this particular block and uh, I, I just want to move up and down so for that I'm putting only up arrow and I'm going to the motion here I'm changing Y position by 10 because if I want to move up and down all we already we uh, understood with our previous project we have to move X position and Y position X will be right and left Y will be up and down so this positions are only we have to move so now you see I'll be able to move upwards the same way I'll duplicate this whole block see I can duplicate this you can duplicate by right clicking right click duplicate so that you will be able to duplicate the whole block like this and now I put minus 10 and I change this to down arrow so please make sure that you change after you duplicate don't keep it as it is if you just put up arrow again so it doesn't work now you have to put the down arrow so whenever you click the down arrow it will come down whenever you click the up arrow it will go up you can observe what is happening right so now it is just moving up and down but with the flag click you can see now what is happening it feels like it is flying above the buildings right so you can make it more uh, you know realistic by putting some clouds also so that you can do it later but now I'm just going to teach you how to put a, a gem or a crystal here so that uh, when the cat is flying the crystals will also like keep flying and uh, you can collect those crystals so that is what we are going to look now so for that I need a crystal sprite so I just go type crystal yes I got these two crystals and I will be using the same logic uh, for the building right so for the building I did the logic right so forever I'm going to one particular place I'm repeating to come back and I'm changing the next costume whenever it reaches the end of the screen so I'm going to take the same logic here uh, to accomplish this particular crystal movement also okay so again you're going to look at it when the flag is clicked 
so I want my crystal to be here each time it should start from here okay so uh, let it be here okay each time it should start from there so for that reason my position will be go to uh, to, to, to 228 and uh, minus 4 uh, 43 so now I'll go to the forever loop I'll put this and I'll keep it here and I'll repeat the motion of coming back for 50 times and uh, for 50 times it should move backward minus 10 10 steps it should move backward and uh, each time it uh, reaches the end of the screen it should change the next costume see this is how it will happen with each building there will be one gem and it our cat can go and you know collect that gem particular gem or instead we can call it as crystal right so we can call it as crystal so it is touching the crystal the cat is touching the crystal but still we are not able to increase our score or decrease the score so that score part we will look into it now so whenever the cat touches this particular uh, crystal right so we have to increase the score for that we will just create a variable so we can create a variable what is variable you already know because we done in our previous project but still I'm going to tell you a variable is a memory location uh, you can consider that like a chocolate box okay so you when you buy a chocolate box the box will be very full right so it will be full of chocolates so as the day goes you'll be like consuming those chocolates and uh, the box remains the same but the chocolates inside that will always vary so a variable is something uh, it's a empty memory location where you can store some data and you can increase the data or decrease the data so the score is one of the good example for our variables right so we are going to create one variable make variable and you can just call it as score or uh, number of crystals something like this okay I'm creating this particular number of crystals as a variable name so if you just uh, checkbox this you will be able to see this uh, variable value o on your screen so I want my value to be seen I'll, I'm going to keep this as it is now I'll come to flying cat so I have to you know check something like what I have to check forever I have to check something forever that if the cat is touching the crystal so that is what I have to check so for that I'll go to the sensing in the sensing I'll take touching mouse pointer instead of touching mouse pointer I will take crystal so I'm going to check forever if the since I'm coding it for the cat it is already understood that the cat is going to check if it is touching the crystal if it is touching the crystal then what should happen it has to change the number of crystals by one so it is like it is going to add one to its previous value so what is its previous value I'm going to take this set number of crystals so I'm going to take this set number of crystals block and I'm setting this to zero like this and this should happen before the forever loop if you put inside this forever loop what will happen is each time it will set the score to zero each time whenever you collect your uh, crystal also if it is increasing by one by the end of this particular code since you have put this uh, number of crystals inside the forever loop it will set the score to zero so for that reason you have to put that outside the forever and below that set number of crystals to zero block you have to put this forever block so initially it will set, it, set this to zero whenever your game is starting and then forever it will be like keep repeating this action of checking if the cat is touching the crystal if it is touching the crystal then it is going to increase the score by one so let us see how this is going to happen so when the flag is clicked everything works fine it can move up and down oh you see that just for touching only one time my score is already like 52 it should be 4 
but it is 52 why it is happening like this so we are not giving any delay or we are not telling anything for the cat that if you touch one time you have to in just increase the score by one so how to make that happen that can be done with the help of a control block in the control block we can just wait for maybe half a second after each time I touch the crystal so after half second only I should be able to again sense my other crystal otherwise what will happen since it is a computer that we have told it whenever it is touching the crystal say for example if the crystal size is big so uh, till, the, till the cat touches the crystal it will be keep increasing its score by one so it should not happen that is not correct no for that reason we are waiting for 0.5 seconds so by then the crystal will pass the cat and uh, it will wait for the new crystal from then onwards so it is something like this now see two three I'm not collecting now yeah I collected it five so now did you understand what is happening this is very very simple so if you didn't get this please you know uh, go back and again learn this and come to this point okay so like this we can just you know improvise our game by putting some clouds and also you can improvise this game in a different way now here we are just trying to get one single crystal uh, maybe you can just develop a game where you can have two three gold coins and uh, uh, there is kind of an obstacle so one of the uh, instead of crystal you can put one obstacle or a bomb so if the flying cat touches the bomb then the score will become zero and uh, if the flying cat touches the gold coin then the score will increase so something like that you can come up with some creative ideas and uh, you have to try this okay so uh, hope you understood this uh, logic of a flying cat so we will meet again in the next session and we will learn more thank you